Hey y'all, welcome back. Calvin's Corner 72. If you're new to my channel, uh, I do all kinds of stuff. I do Dutch oven cooking, airhead hunting, kayaking, you name it, I do it. <laughs> I'm into everything, but today this video is going to be a, a special video for my buddy, Harvey Spooner. He's the one that got me into YouTube, guys. And I'll have his link down below. Just click on it. Go check him out. If you like these vehicles right here, these Honda Big Reds, you will love Harvey Spooner. He is a absolute wealth of information. If you have any kind of electrical problems or any kind of problems at all with these things, he's got a video on it, how to fix it. And I wanted to do this today to show it to my buddy, Harvey, so he can get an idea of how much I've done on this and how long it's came along. I think the last time I did this video was one of my first two videos I've ever did on my channel. So if you want to watch that, you can scroll down to the very bottom of my videos and check that one out. But here recently, I actually had the top end rebuilt. And uh, it doesn't smoke anymore. And it runs very, very, very good. Um, it's just got a, it's a 1984 Honda Big Red 200 with the reverse, guys. This one's got the reverse on it. Some of them don't have the reverse, but this one does. Yay to me. Um, just wanted to show you some of the things that I've had done. I've actually put this on here. That it did not have a trunk on it when I bought this bike. I have actually installed a trunk. Well, it had a trunk, but it didn't have the lid on it. Uh, this is the original seat that came with it. Um, it did not have this tool kit, but I bought this tool kit. It's actually got the tools in there. I bought an air box. Everything's in the air box. I mean, everything in, inside. The piece that goes from the air box to the carburetor cost me like $68, and I had to order it from Canada. That's how hard they are to find. But this one is all back together stock, new filter, everything. Put a new battery in, got this battery hold down, the battery box that wasn't in there. All the wiring I've replaced. That wasn't in there. I mean, it was the head bad wiring when I bought it. Okay. Um, the guy that did my tank and did, did my motor, he also did my tank with the red coat. So this, this tank has been red coated. I don't know if you can see that red in there. Um, I have recently put a brand new seal on this, but every time it hits a bump or something, this gas pours out around this ring and slides down and gets all over me. And so therefore I will not be keeping this thing full of gas because every time I try to drive it, it spills out and if anybody's got any suggestions about that harvey please leave me something down in here because i mean i've replaced the seal i don't know what else i got to do because it's just it's just coming out and going everywhere um i did replace the little light that was bad here on the reverse so it actually works the green light works i mean all the lights work the headlights they work the tail lights they work. I bring. I put brand new tires on the back. I've actually got a brand new tire in my shed, and I'm gonna put, be replacing this one because yes, you can see it's dry rotted pretty bad, but it's holding air, so I'm gonna ride it until it hold until it don't hold air anymore. But I've got a brand new one to uh, replace. So turn the light back off. I, I installed a winch holder a few years back, so that thing's new. I've actually put a brake, parking brake handle on here. It's not the original, but it works. I knew all my brakes work. My brakes, my foot brakes work. My front brakes work, as you can see. See them moving? Front brakes work. Even the parking brake works. That's what's holding it here right now. And uh, yeah, so I put exhaust on it. I didn't have an exhaust. I put another carburetor on it, which is a Chinese clone or, you know, um a new cdi box i put on it i put a ball on it i took all this off and repainted all this and put it back that's why it's not shiny like it should be but um i've replaced the uh rear end dope i put a new skid plate on it, it didn't have a skid plate all this is new hardware here you see on the brakes um this thing's in pretty good shape now just to let you know just like harvey does this is a cold start and I'm going to cheat because I'm going to use the, uh, oh, and the winch, I'm going to show you. It works. Right here's the button. She works. All right, I'm going to turn it on. Don't even have to choke it, guys. 
All right, watch this. You gotta love that, huh? You gotta love a Honda. That's my baby. And it will crank with the pull cord. I'm just gonna hit the, uh, it's got a compression release around here. So I'm gonna hit that because I don't wanna jerk my arm off. Here we go. First pull. I don't know why it just sounds like the starter's running and it stops. So maybe you can help me out with that, Harvey. But this is gonna be my little boys when I'm dead and gone. I told him he could have it and told him to keep it as long as he could keep it because uh, this is gonna be a classic one day. The forks are kind of hammered a little bit, but at least they do go up and down. But other than that, that's my three wheeler. I just wanted to show it to y'all. And uh, Harvey Spooner, y'all go check him out. Tell him old Calvin's Corner 72 sent you that way.